Hello and welcome to my video about the transistor in Besiege. So, if you've seen my video about my full ladder, you've noticed that there's a lot of similar parts in it, and it's because the basis for that is the transistor, which is the basic unit for like everything made in electronics. So it's pretty important, and I've replicated it in Besiege, and I'm just basically gonna show you how to do that in case you. I haven't figured out just from watching because I built it a little bit weirdly. So, first of all, you need these two pieces on either side, and then you want to build two blocks up. Well, I guess two double blocks up, and then one on top of each of those. You can delete those, those are just temporary. Um, I just add a couple of braces just to make sure that these blocks don't fall down. Uh, now that they're nice and secure we can start building the middle part. So we're going to use a unpowered cog and then a slider and another unpowered cog and on one of these sides, whichever way you want, whichever the orientation works out best for you, um, you gonna place an unpowered cog and then on the other one we need a powered one. Um, actually I'm just gonna put one more brace in the middle, right here, um, and then you need to make this powered cog spin automatically. And then you go to flight, pick up the propellers, put on some. You generally only need two, but I like to do four just so it's nice and symmetric and even. And this is basically it. A pretty simple device. Um, obviously, you need some sort of input. So let's do that. Um, the actual input of the transistor is this bottom gear. So I'm going to place that there and there. And now we have this powered gear feeding into the bottom input. And the output is this gear up here. Um, and like, on its own, it seems sort of pointless because I mean, I click on this, or I press the button to turn this gear, and it just makes that gear go in a convoluted way. But the the usefulness of transistors are when you have lots of them together in an arrangement such as building a full adder or something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna run and show you it working. So turn the gear and the thing moves up, let go and it goes down. It's pretty easy. Now this gear is still spinning in with that one. They just have some momentum still going. Uh, if you had this hooked up to anything like uh, made the output of this the input to another transistor or something, it would eventually slow down once you if it had some sort of load to it, not just going to freely spin that quickly forever. Um, and so that's pretty useful. Um, and then if you look at circuit diagrams or stuff, uh, you may notice uh, that you have your there's two different types of transistors. Um, and so basically, the way to make the other type that is default on and turns off when you give it an input instead of only turns on when you give an input is to add a flying spiral. Or if you're building some sort of logic gate, like if you have two of these connected in series, uh, then you end up with an AND gate. And if you wanted to invert one of your inputs, you could just do this because now it raises it up. And I need to turn the gear backwards on the bottom. Um, but normally you could just flip the uh, the orientation of these propellers, which I'm going to do now. Oh, fix that. There you go. So now I'm hitting forward. It's the same input as was before, but now we have an inverted output. So, I mean, this is also basically just a big fancy knot gate, which you can build much smaller and much simpler. But in this case, um, like I said, with the regular transistor, it's really useful when you have lots of them together. So I hope you found this well, probably not very entertaining, but at least informative. And have a good day.